chi, it flows throughout the body. Without it, you don't function. And it's a radio wave. Science can't find chi. It doesn't, it doesn't exist as far as science can tell. Without a doubt, George Dillman That's is a force to be reckoned with. He's a ninth degree black belt who has taught everyone from Muhammad Ali to Bruce Lee. And he's able to drop just about anyone using applications of pressure to certain points along the body. He's probably weak right here. No cactus. Pressure point knockouts are the easiest way to put a person down. I can put the largest person that you can find in the world, and I've done this, with that finger. I can put him on the floor. It's the guy that's the big guy's man on the end of the street. But that's just the beginning. Dillman claims to have adapted this technique to where he can knock a person out without having to touch them. Use chi energy out of this hand, and we're going to affect up on the head of the third eye. Snap, couple. Back, back, back. There we go. All of these karate techniques are made possible by manipulating chi. He makes a chi ball. He'll get the radio frequency going between the hands. And if you get up and feel, it's actually hotter inside that ball. I've seen him already knock people over with it. He throws the chi in such a way that when he catches it, it knocks him backwards. For Dillman, chi is like electrical circuitry that he can turn on or off with a simple well-placed punch or even just a tap. We enter the chi into pressure points that both accept chi or give off chi. Just gonna barely just tap. I use ones to give off chi, put it into ones that accept chi. We, in essence, turn their light switches down. It kicks out their circuit breaker panel in the back. Pressure points can be dangerous. I've flatlined several people. They come to see Dillman's remarkable ability to move walls of people from 10 feet away when they can't even see him by channeling his chi at them and interrupting their auras. I lock with their aura and I move the line. I shouldn't tell you this, but I play with people in Starbucks, and I just stood there and I moved the line. And they all moved, and they all looked back to me at the same time. They went like this, and I looked back too, like it was happening to me. I looked, because I didn't want them to know I did this, right? But what really draws the audience's attention is Dillman's no-touch knockout, a karate move that could theoretically revolutionize combat as we know it except that it can take years to learn. Essentially, he claims to be able to knock anyone out without touching any part of their body by just throwing a giant chi whammy at them. Sometimes it drains me. I can get that way within a second or two if I throw the chi out too fast. Get back. After seeing so many demonstrations, so many different techniques, so many different moves, you, you can't help but start believing. They're opening up another door in your mind. It's just unbelievable. I know I have chi energy. You can see it with the half moons. My chi is up now because of the filming. I have half moons in my fingertips now. That means the chi is, is just coming out. But is the mysterious energy called chi really what's giving Dillman and his followers such extraordinary powers? Or is it, as skeptics suggest, simply a form of hypnotic suggestion? It's time for a showdown. In one corner, weighing in at no more than 125 pounds, is chemist Luigi Garnaschelli. He thinks he can stand up to a knockout punch of chi, because it doesn't exist. In the other corner, it's 8th degree black belt Leon J, one of George Dillman's top associates and fellow practitioner of the no-touch knockout. This ought to be interesting. In fact, when we did the test on Luigi, who was not uh, ready to, to believe these things. 
object or maybe was just staying there, seeing what would happen. It didn't work. Dillman thinks he knows what went wrong and has come up with a very interesting explanation. The skeptic was, un, was a, a totally non-believer. Non-believer, plus, I don't know if I should say that on film, but if the guy had his tongue in the wrong position of the mouth, uh, that can also nullify it. Yeah, you can nullify it. You can nullify a lot of things done to you. In fact, you can nullify it if you raise those two big toes. Plus, if I say I'm going to knock you out, and you raise one toe and push one toe down, can't knock you out. And then if I go to try again, you reverse it. If you keep doing this, I won't knock you out. Plus, the skeptic was, un, was a, a totally non-believer. Non-believer. Plus, and I moved the line. Plus, I've flatlined several people. Plus, I know I have chi energy. You can see it with the half moons. My chi is up now because of the filming. I have half moons in my fingertips now. Plus, I can put the largest person that you can find in the world, and I've done this, with that finger, I can put him on the floor.